was a bit of a rough start this morning, but I'm moving and my pack is really light because I have no food because it's town day. I'm telling this to myself right now, no running today. I know it's tempting because the pack is so light and it's downhill and town awaits, but my muscles will be more sore than usual and I need them in tip top shape because the San Juans are next and it's a really, really hard section. I mean, it's one that I've been looking forward to since day one, but it's gonna be really hard either a grumpy whale or a, a grumpy anglerfish or something. The grocery store had my favorite energy bar, so I'm really happy this morning. Although, let's be honest, I'm happy most mornings because I'm out here through hiking. So, in 2019, I, uh, accidentally through hiked the entire Appalachian Trail. I thought I was just hopping on for some training, keep my hiking legs in shape, because I had another hike planned that summer, but I just hiked the whole thing. Um, but anyways, I just met the only other people I have ever met that have also accidentally done a through hike. I think I found a good breakfast spot. I can't seem to avoid sleeping in creek valleys, which of course means that my tent and my sleeping bag are soaked right now. But my tent at least is going to be dry soon. I was thinking about getting water from this source, but Apparently there's a beaver dam a little upstream and beavers are known to carry a lot of giardia and I'm not 100% sure that my filter is working because it might have frozen during these cold nights. I don't know. Yep. It's a beaver dam. Interesting dividing line between the trees. We've got dead beetle kill, then scattered evergreen, then deciduous.
I think I'm on Snow Mesa right now. running. I'm just letting the momentum of the landscape carry me downhill. All right, time to hitch. This is Lake City. Yeah. <laughs> I'm back on trail and I didn't even have to hitch. I had a ride planned out with people that I met last night. So when I got to town yesterday, there was an event going on and all of the restaurants were closed so that the staff could go to this event, but there was nowhere for me to get food. And I was just wandering around looking really hungry and someone invited me into the like, buffet area for this event. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to say this, whether they were supposed to let me in or not, but anyway, I got to hang out and eat food and chat with a bunch of people and it was really, really fun. And one of the people I met, um, they gave me a ride back to trail today. And I was actually supposed to start hiking earlier. I've been at this trailhead for a while, but I went back across the road to reconnect my footsteps so I would have a continuous footpath. And I ran into another CET Sobel hiker and his friends had come to Trail Magic. And so that was my first planned parking lot trail magic with cold sodas and fruits and sweets. Actually, now I think about it, that's not true. The mountain biker who gave me a ride, who waited for me and then gave me a ride into Leadville, she had a picnic spread for us when I got to the parking lot and we had cold drinks and fruit and sweet things to eat as well. My pack is about as heavy as it has ever been with um, six days of food and full water because there's rains coming either tomorrow or the day after that could be turning into snow up high. So it's highly likely that I'll have to hunker down somewhere and wait it out a day. Um, so I brought an extra day of food on top of the five day food carry that I think this section will be, because um, I think the train's going to get kind of tough. Back there is Snow Mesa, which is what I came down from yesterday. So a lot of people told me about this yurt, but nobody mentioned that it's a $20, um, you have to reserve it yurt. Um, so fortunately, and I don't have any cash on me right now because I need to go to the ATM at the next town, but fortunately uh, I got here and there was someone staying here and she paid for me.